There we are. So, Pip Taylor is our journeyman. Come on, Pip. Do you know what I love about this? Pip Taylor? That, but also there's two Germans <laughs> in this. And if they did what they did in the last round, don't forget they were trying to get two through. Now, they only have to get one rider across that line first. That's the ultimate aim, that's the big goal. So we're going to see a big lead out probably. Everyone will know it's coming. Everyone wants to benefit from that. It's just who does benefit from it. Bottinger is the man who needs this. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't mean to sound like a Hollywood intro there. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you <laughs> did. Is <laughs> <laughs> here. Max Levy retiring. Bless him. I'll miss him. Uh, Matis Rudzik of Poland, who's always lively. Sean on Far Quintero. And of course, the bot, the robot, maybe. Maybe we'll start calling him that. But uh, Stefan Bottinger is about to vault into uh, uh, in, in front of Max Levy as, in terms of our uh, uh, favoured status. Let's put it that way. Let's see if the Germans manage to get something out of this. Sean and Far of Suriname, fantastic that he is here. Here's our leader. He's here indeed and looking mean and focused, taking deep breaths through his nostrils there. So I think this will probably be the one that he's most nervous about. He knows what he can do. He knows the power he's got, but the tactics come into this massively. There's a lot of riders in the race that he has to contend with, so he has to get it absolutely perfect. And it's what the other riders do around him, you know. They know how strong he is, they know how quick he is. They know there's two Germans in the race. So it's going to be, um, it's going to be a hard one for him. It certainly is. <laughs> what can Rudzik do about this? I don't know. It, it, you know, he's got a look of a teddy bear about him, but, but you know what they say about Grizzlies, they can have your arm off. Um, now then, this man, Bottinger, all pressure upon his shoulders. He knows that this is a massive moment for him. It is indeed, and, you know, with, with a teammate in there, a very experienced one with Levy in there, he has technically a lead-out man, someone that can play with, with the other riders a little bit, set the tempo, make it more difficult for them. So we're going to see some, some teamwork for sure, as we did in the last round with the two Germans. It's just who is going to benefit from that, not just in the Germans, but the other riders as well. Here he comes on his skeleton Ferrari. I do like a real Derny, I must say. Oh, um, yeah. The smell of two-stroke oil in the, uh, in, the <laughs> in the fuel here. Just the noise of it as well. They don't have to warn you that it's coming, like they do with the electric uh, Derny, the Ernie. <laughs> but yeah, it's just something about it, that buzz. And when you're hearing uh, uh, Derny's go full chat in a Derny race, it's fantastic. There's it? nothing better, nothing better. I've been at the, the back of one of those for a Derny race before, and they are brilliant to follow as well. So, we'll let Pip Taylor do his thing. He's just about to uh, uh, come off the track. Stefan Bodiger is not going to take any chances, is he? Harry Lebrazen certainly isn't. He's going to try and dominate this one from the front. He's not going to have any messing around uh, uh, be between the German pairing. Now then, how do they figure this one out? And in fact, they just shredded their ta strategy entirely. And off he goes. Bodiger has to just impose himself at the front. Levy's playing catch up at the moment, but uh, Lebrazen is there. In fact, it's Levy that has set off. Now then, will Levy back up and let Bodiger come through. Apologies, it's Levy on the front with uh, uh, Levrazen there. Levrazen still doesn't want to get boxed in here. He's coming out from uh, uh, behind the Germans and here goes Bottinger. He's going to follow. He's going to follow here. Levrazen, but can he take him on the final corner? Here it is. Bottinger's coming up around the outside. Oh, I think he got there. It's a photo. <laughs> it's a photo. Oh, my goodness. Has he been done over? Nobody knows. That was close indeed, and if he's got that, he's done a heck of a ride there. Levy technically just leading out there, Harry. He's just unbelievable. He was able to get on the wheel, benefit from that, and use the slipstream to try and slingshot around, but Bottinger there, he just had to do it all on that last corner there, coming into the back straight, waiting, waiting on the wheel, and just trying to put the power down, coming out of that last corner, and we're still unsure who won. They don't know either. Nobody wants to celebrate. They dared. Look how tight they were as well. When Bodiger finally comes out of this, this draft, the gap between them was, uh, was basically a couple of thumbs. That was it. And this is the moment. Did he get over the top? That's what we're asking. Oh. I think he did. I think he did. It's very, very hard to tell from that angle, isn't it? I think we need to see the photo finish on that one. And That's all it's it, going to tell us. It is indeed, but Here we what go. a sprint. Oh, oh. He's got there. Yeah, he has got there indeed. Brilliant, brilliant ride there. And to be able to come round ha! Harry there on that last corner as he did was unbelievable. 
That was brilliant. Well, he's done the first phase of what he's got to deliver. Done the first phase, just a couple more phases to go. It's not going to be easy. He knows that, but what a ride by him. The last 25 metres, sort of 50 metres there, being able to come round as he did and just pip him on the line. Brilliant.